Taurus, welcome to your singles reading for December who's coming towards you. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new, welcome returning. Thank you so much for coming back. So let's see what's going on for Taurus singles. Now this could be somebody you know, somebody you don't know, but somebody definitely you're probably not in a relationship or just dating. So you definitely have to be single in some way. So we'll see what comes out here. Could be, like I said, somebody totally new. Or maybe somebody you already know. We'll see if that energy plays out. So hopefully it'll resonate for you. Like I always say with every reading, take what resonates, throw away what doesn't. Um, and this is intended for whenever you see this, tell whenever. I do consider all the readings on my channel timeless. So um, links to all your playlists are down below in the description box if you are interested in that. So let's see what's going on for Taurus. Let's get welcome in everyone. So this will be out before Thanksgiving. So um, happy Thanksgiving. Have, uh, hope everybody is doing well. So I guess that's one of your cards here. Let's get a couple signs. So we have Neptune, which is Pisces. Pisces, Neptune. So let's get one more. And Neptune is all about imagination, uh, compassion, psychic experiences balancing out energies so i don't know if that means anything but we'll find out so let's get one more sign for you taurus i'm feeling that one what do we have sagittarius all right so we have pisces and sagittarius hmm okay so let's look at who this person is what is their energy like who is this person coming at you this possible person coming in. They could have both signs in their chart. They could have Pisces and Sag, or just one, or here, or just be um, in the energy of a fire sign, you know, someone very fiery and passionate, or maybe someone very uh, sensitive and emotional with that Pisces water energy. I don't know, we'll see. So who is this possible possible person coming into Taurus singles? What is their energy like? Oh my God, so that is just crazy. So we have Sagittarius here. So somebody very balanced here. Someone who has a lot of patience, who is very balanced, who has a very uh, tranquil healing energy about them, uh, very harmonious energy. Wow, so that's a nice energy. So let's see. Oh, that's too many. So let's look at now. I just want to read this one more time. Someone who probably who takes their time also that doesn't just rush into things. Um, who really like thinks things through. They may be analytical. Very cautious too, maybe though, but that's just their energy. They like to make balanced, wise choices and decisions. I don't feel like they just jump right in to anything without carefully thinking it through. But let's see, it can be a good energy. So let's see like what time, time frame possibly here. So we have winter. So definitely in the winter energy here. So we are coming into winter starting next month. So winter can be whenever winter is for you, whenever you're watching this. So if you're in the time of year right now where you're going into summer, this may not be till next winter. Or it could be during the time frame of winter of um, like the United States time. But usually when I say winter, it is whenever winter is for you. So I know this seems a long time away like six months for some or seven months, but time frame here is winter. Okay, so it could be on the second day of winter. It could be on the second week of winter, the second month of winter, or uh, winter where it has two in the day, date itself of the month. All right, so let's see now uh, where, like under what circumstances. So maybe you're ice skating. <laughs> She's ice skating. That's funny. So we have winter here again. So some sort of winter activity here. You could be out um, at like a winter festival, a Christmas festival. You could be out uh, riding around looking at lights, um, Christmas lights, something around a winter festival, a winter themed um, activity. 
So if you do winter activities or just out doing something in the middle of winter here, um, like I said, walking around looking at Christmas lights, walking around at a Christmas festival, or just sledding, sliding, skating, snowboarding, I don't know, something here during a winter, maybe some of you are going to see an ice show or something like that. And that's how you meet this person. So where you meet this person. So let's see how, how will you meet this person? Heavy winter energy here. So So now we have, um, so this may be something new that you try. Because this is like a fiery energy here. So that definitely is a Sagittarius energy. So maybe, you know, you, you could be like on vacation. You could be on vacation also and maybe doing something like up in the mountains where it's cold and maybe doing winter things. And maybe you go in by the fire to warm up or something like that. And that's how you run into this person. Because this Princess of Spring is fire energy. So it could be something, could be something new you're trying that uh, is creative, energetic, like you're enthusiastic about, something you've always wanted to try. So maybe you go on vacation, maybe you want to try skiing or something here. And uh, maybe you go in to warm up, you know, get a coffee at the coffee shop or go sit by the fire. And that could be how you run into this person. So... Oh, okay. All right, so let's look at... I feel like, you know, you both would be, like, sitting around the fire drinking a coffee or something like that, and uh, you start talking, like, oh, I'm here. I'm learning how to ski. I'm learning how to uh, snowboard or, I don't know, ice skate or something here, and uh, you strike up a conversation. All right, so let's see what kind of connection this will be. What kind of connection this will be. Let's see. Let's get one of these. For what kind of connection will this be for Taurus? For Taurus. Positive energy. So it's going to be a very positive, positive Inter, uh, interaction here. Surround yourself with positive people, situations, and avoid negativity. So very positive energy, I feel like, will flow between the two of you. You may have, you know, decided to go on vacation to get away from things. You know, maybe you weren't feeling balanced, like, in your life, and you're like, you know, I need to get away. I need to get away from all the... Because the seven of winter can stop, talk about, like, negative crap and things like that energy. So maybe you're like, and see this girl's like almost like running, but she's skating. You know, two of swords can be indecisive energy. So it's like, maybe you just decided, you know what, I need to find balance. I need to get away and uh, find my balance. And I feel like that's what you did. And now you run into this very positive energy um, meeting this person. So let's see. Let's see what your advice is. Let's see what your advice is. Taurus, in this connection. What's the advice for Taurus? Reach for the stars. Wow. So <laughs> go for it. So this is telling you to go for it. Reach for it. Go for it. Star is about, you know, divinely guided energy, something meant to be, faith, hope, optimism, healing energy. So your advice is to go for it. Wow. Okay. So let's get some tarot on this for you, Taurus. So Taurus, I do ask if you do like, if you're new and you like my energy so far, please do check out my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell, you'll be notified when I post new readings. I do four readings a month, and they're all different. So thank you if you do. And check the description box below on uh, personal information reading, um, how to book a reading, um, all sorts of stuff down there. So please do go check that out. And if you do, thank you. And thank you to everybody who supported the channel. Couldn't do without you guys. So thank you, thank you so much. 
All right, so let's get let's get one more. All right, let's see. So we have the four of wands. Wow. So this is about stability. This is about very stable. Could be this could go right into a very committed relationship right away. The four of wands, very stable, committed relationship. Ace of Cups, brand new beginning in love. So this is going to be instant connection here. And it may commit right away. And a lot of love here with Ace of Cups, divinely guided. Brand new beginning in love. Love, emotions, feelings. The wheel. So we have the wheel here. Uh, no, that's uh, temperance. But this is also Sagittarius with the wheel. So fate, destiny, timing, things going in a better direction. Something meant to be with the wheel. Divine wheel of fortune. Wow. Wow. Three of Swords, so this can talk about, you know, heartbreak. I feel like, because it's right under the Seven of Winter of this uh, negative energy. So I feel like Three of Swords is like, you know, your energy of like getting away from this heartbreaking negative energy. It could have been work, it could be anything, and just getting away and like leaving that energy behind, focusing on you to get your balance, like a much needed vacation away from that crap. And now you have the Knight of Cups. So moving forward again in this loving, compassionate energy. Moving forward in love. The Knight of Cups away from the negative crap that was around you and falling falling right into love. Wow. Eight of Cups. Again, I just said that. Walking away and getting away from negative energy that wasn't serving you. Just getting away and coming and falling right into love here. Wow. The hermit. Yep, so you probably, you know, decide I'm just going to go away on my own and um, spend some time alone, spend some time on me and regain my balance, get away from all the crap, but you unknowingly walk away from that and then walk right into love. So this is like walking right into love. Something meant to be, something that may be committed right away. Uh, brand new beginning in love there, Taurus. Wow. So let's see what's on the bottom here. The tower. So this is, you know, can be arguments, fights, shakeups, uh, breakdowns. Like this could hit you like a bolt of lightning. Like, wow, this is like, I feel my person. This could be a heavy soulmate energy or possible twin flame with the four of wands energy. And it just hits you like a bolt of lightning. Like, wow. Not only needing to get away, it's like your intuition telling you, I need to get away and... And you just follow what you feel you need to do and it leads you right into this divinely guided brand new beginning in love here which also gives you the epiphany of this wow wow Taurus wow okay Taurus so I hope you enjoyed that and uh, good luck to you and I'm sending you many light love and blessings and as I always say with my channel is to always always shine your light